Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture. Today we are going to solve a scenario where we have to print a particular pattern. In this pattern, it's right now open in a notepad and I will show how the source and the target looks like. So if you see, you can imagine the first column as a department and the second one is the employee. So in the target, it should look like in the ascending order of the department ID, the name of the employees are added like in a triangle manner. So when there is a change in the department, now the employee's name are again put in a triangle. This is a quite simple scenario, but you need to play around a little bit in the expression transformation. Let's quickly see this. I will save the input file here and let's see how we proceed in printing a pattern through Informatica. So let's create a mapping and let's name it pattern1. We will use our previously created sources. So it's a flat file. We have employee ID and a department in the target. Let's have again the employee ID and the department. There's a field of file name which is used in a previous session. We are not going to use this, so let's leave it aside. Now we have to sort the data on the basis of the department ID. So let's sort this. Or rather, the employee ID because we have taken the first column as employee ID. So let's arrange them in the ascending order. And now we need an expression transformation. So you need to understand that the pattern refreshes itself from the beginning whenever there is a change in the employee ID. That is like from 10, 10, whenever it changes to 20, it again starts the beginning of the new pattern. So you have to remember the key point. You have to store the previous value and use it for comparison in the expression. How we have to do it? I assume that by now you must be quite comfortable. So we'll have the current employee ID and it's going to have the employee ID. In a similar manner, we are going to have a previous employee ID. And this is going to have the current employee ID. Now, we are going to compare the current employee ID and the previous employee ID. That is the current row and the previous row. So let's say this as pattern because the pattern can be a bit long so let's take it as a 20. So if you see here if the current employee ID equals the previous employee ID or rather if the current employee ID does not equals to the previous employee ID, that is, there is a change in the employee ID, then we need to start with the department. Correct? And if it is in the same department, like if they both are matching, that is, that is the previous row is matching with the current one, that is you are going through the same employee ID, that is the same 10, 10, 10, then in that case you need to keep on concatenating the strings, that is the departments. How? Let's see. We have to write this pattern concat then we have to give a comma separator then again concat this pattern will be appended with the department. Right? So let's see this. Oops. We didn't take the output. So let's take the final output of the pattern. So 
this is going to be the pattern from here and the pattern will be in the department and we are not going to use the file name so let's save it and create a mapping sorry a workflow we are done Let's quickly give the session properties. The name is input. And let's name this as pattern.txt. Let's save this and run this workflow. The questions on patterns are also sometimes asked in the interviews. So we need to practice them and know how to play around with the values in the expression transformation. So let's quickly check what's there in the pattern. See, we got according to the first column that is the numbers here, we have arranged them in, a, in an ascending order and then in a triangular fashion all the employee departments are now appended. These fields can vary, the interviewer can ask you to print a triangle or a star or a dollar and they can be different n number of, of patterns here. This you can try using the expression transformation. If you have any doubt or any questions regarding this pattern, you can comment and let me know. Till then, happy learning.